Hello everyone, and today I'm talking about core teeters again. Um, and basically, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, core teeters and ceramic heaters. Now, I made another video that said core teeters and ceramic heaters, they do the same thing. Their BTU output is the same. And I'm actually glad I made that video because on the internet and on YouTube, there's a lot of uh, information that reflects the same kind of... Uh, opinion on that but I was missing something when I first made the video here there is a missing part of the equation and today that's what I'm gonna show you alright and first let's look at uh, what I talked about in the first video alright BTU efficiency uh, BTUs over watts All right, a ceramic heater is 3.4 times uh, efficient and the quartz heater is also 3.4 times efficient now that's where I got my theory and opinion. Um, after actually using the heater, um, I've actually uh, experienced a couple uh, nights now in the 30s, and I've been pretty pleased with the, the results. Um, and if I was using my ceramic heater, um, the results would not be the same at all. And then in the other video, I also said electric heat pump is 10 times efficient, which is the most desirable, but uh, heat pumps aren't good for extreme colds and normally you have an auxiliary or emergency heat and that uses heat strips which equals bad because those are like 15,000 uh, watts which really costs like about a dollar fifteen an hour so that's a lot of money to be spending on your heat bill. So let's look at this missing part of the equation here. One thing I did not take into account when I just looked at this one side the one side of the story here. I did not take into account the CFN and what I have named the burn time. Now this is my own term. Uh, this isn't something I found on the internet. I just didn't know any other way to say it. Um, but CFN, that is the cubic feet per minute. Now this is something that where the quartz heater uh, smashes the ceramic heater. And the average CFM output on most of your regular space heaters that you'll find at Walmart is somewhere between 30 and 50 CFM. Okay, so somewhere right in between there. And um, that's not a whole lot. Um, and what I found for the quartz heaters is the average is going to be somewhere between 100 and 110. So it's heating a lot more space than um, your regular space heaters that you'd find at Walmart. Um, so then the next thing we're going to talk about is the burn time. And I couldn't think of any other way, to, better way to say it, but um, basically in your ceramic heater, what you've got is you've got this little grid. All right. And it heats up this grid. It uses a lot of energy. And we're going to look at the side view of this grid. Now the grid is probably, um, actual size, probably something like that thick. Now if you just blow a fan over that, that's good and all. It's going to produce hot air. But what if you turned your grid, theoretically speaking, into something this long um, from the, the side view? Uh, that would produce a much better result, right? Okay, well, that's basically what the, the quartz heater has done because it's made the path that the air has to um, go over much longer. And the air moving across is heated more thoroughly, which you're also really going to need if you're moving it a lot more quickly. Um, if you just took uh, the same size grid here and bumped up the blower capacity or whatever the CFMs um, you're just blowing over more so you still have the same uh, heat capacity I guess in theory here so uh, more air going through and more time to heat the air that's uh, being pushed through the heater so uh, that's pretty much it um, that's pretty much the big difference between these two heaters here so wrapping it up here today uh, for my conclusion what we got is CFM and burn time, uh, they both matter. 
CFM cubic feet per minute. Um, that's the amount of space, the volume in the room. Um, what the capacity of that is. Um, your quartz heaters, larger volume, larger capacity. Your ceramic space heaters, smaller. Um, you got the smaller, you got the larger. Uh, smaller capacity, uh, smaller room. So that's the one thing that BTUs do not account for. Um, then the burn time, uh, it's probably not a real term, there's probably some official term. Uh, I'll probably get some nasty comments about that, but um, the little heater, and I've got it here sitting on the floor. Um, you can actually see the little heating element. It's fairly small. It's between my fingers right there, and it's that long, and it's not very thick. I took it apart to clean it, and uh, it's really not that thick, so you got not that much space to go over, and you got this grid here. Then you got oh, your quartz heater. Uh, it's fairly larger. It's got a lot of uh, room in there. Um, you got a much uh, longer area to go over that's heated, which again is needed for more CFM. More volume equals more uh, heat needed to uh, produce for the volume. So, um, and here I just got the one grid, and right here you've got uh, like a series of chambers that um, the air is going to flow over. <coughs> Again, gives it more time with the heat uh, to heat up the air properly. So, and then we'll also, I'm just going to show you them here on the ground. You can see there's a big size difference there. Um, like I said again here, we got the, you can see in there, the, like I showed you before, the element and um, it's not very big. You can almost see in there too. I can, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera but you can see the blower motor and um if you can imagine the motor starts right there and the actual uh, fan circular thing it's about that big that long um, so that's really all there is to it and then this one obviously it's a uh, much larger got a lot, uh, larger capacity much better for volume so it's not such a bad thing uh, like I thought it was at first um, and that pretty much wraps up today's video uh, on quartz heaters. Well, thanks guys for watching.